Today we're going to continue getting ready for corn harvest. We had about an inch and a half of rain last night and there is rain in the forecast for six out of the next seven days. So uh, it looks like corn harvest is at least, at least uh, two weeks out. So uh, we'll continue to get ready. I've got the F600 grain truck out today. I'm going to do a little work on it. It's a uh, it's a 1968 F600. It's a really clean truck. I picked this up about a year and a half ago in Iowa. You can see the uh, the sills, the floorboards, the doors. Everything is uh, really solid on this truck. Uh, everything works. All the lights work. Uh, the only rust on the thing, the only place there's rust, is right here on the uh, left front fender. There's a space in here. There's a, there's a little rubber flap behind there, and I can only assume that at some point that filled up with dirt and rusted that out. But uh, like I said, that's the only rust on the truck. So I'm, I'm thinking one of my projects this winter might be to uh, pull the front pull the fender off this thing and weld a patch on there and patch it up because that's that's really it otherwise uh, uh, really solid uh, underneath the floorboards are just pristine but anyway what I'm going to do with this uh, the brakes work really well on this truck but the master cylinder leaks it leaks uh, leaks a little bit of fluid down into the uh, and the floorboard so I'm going to uh, Put a new master cylinder on this. Uh, all of the steel brake lines appear to have been replaced fairly recently, except for one, the one from the master cylinder down to the uh, to the booster cylinder, and I'm going to replace that one. I'm also going to replace the rubber uh, brake hoses, the one that goes from the frame to the rear end, and the two that go from the frame to each front. Uh, to each front wheel, they look to be the original ones, and uh, if that's the case, they're 50 years old, and they need to be replaced. So I will feel a lot better when I get those replaced. Uh, a, couple, a couple of other things uh, I'm going to do. The, uh, <laughs> the uh, I'm going to tidy that wiring up a little bit. Uh, you can see that's. Uh, it's a little bit messy. I'm not even sure where all of it goes. I'm going to trace some of it down and, and tidy it up. Uh, I've got a radio in here, but no antenna. So I've got a, a, uh, a radio, new radio antenna to put on. Uh, it is a 35-mile a one-way trip to where I sell my grain. So it's a 70-mile round trip. It would be kind of nice to have, a, have the radio working. Uh, and also, I have a, a new heater core to put in this thing. Uh, of course, last year I was hauling grain in December when it was in the the temperature was in the teens and twenties, and uh, the the heater was only eh, kind of lukewarm. So, uh, for one thing, it would be nice to be more comfortable, and for another thing, it would be really good to have defrosters that work better on this thing. So, so I'm going to pull the heater box off it and put a heater core, put a new heater core in it. They're not expensive. So that's what I'm up to today. I'm going to start taking things apart. According to the uh, the shipping tracker, I should get the hoses, the rubber brake hoses sometime today, and uh, the master cylinder and uh, heater core I should get on Thursday. I ordered them from uh, off the internet uh, from Rock Auto. They, uh, they seem to be pretty good on prices all the time. So that's today's job. Uh, yeah, the truck is still pretty dusty. It sat in the shed all summer. I'll have to, I'll have to wash it off before I start hauling corn. But, uh, but anyway, that's today's project. We'll get started on this. I was able to clean up some of the unnecessary wires that were there uh, underneath the dash. Just left with a couple now. I've got the power wires that go to the tachometer. Another power wire that goes over to the backup switch. Uh, on the dash, I've got the power wire here for the radio that I can tuck up in there, and I've got a, a speaker here 
speaker wire here that runs from the radio underneath the mat to the uh, to the underneath of the, underneath the seat where it is attached to nothing. So uh, I need to round up a uh, round up a speaker for the radio here. But I think I have one on the uh, on my shelf somewhere. So now I can pull the uh, the heater box out. We've got the heater box off, and uh, the first thing I noticed, it looks like uh, looks like we have some uh, rodent damage here on this uh, little rubber the rubber connector that connects to the outside air. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's kind of plugged up. Might not be just be exclusively plugged up uh, as far as uh, the uh, coolant flow. It looks like it's probably been plugged up also with uh, the airflow so I'm going to have to get on the interwebs and see if I can lay my hands on one of these other than that it's a pretty straightforward matter I just need to take this apart and uh, swap out the new heater core when I get it but I don't have that yet so I will put this aside and move on to other things Okay, three shiny new brake hoses from the FedEx man. Let's go ahead and get these installed. All right, the hoses are changed out. And uh, these do appear to be original ones or have been on there for a really long time. And I have to say by the looks of them, I'm, uh, I'm glad, uh, glad I've got them changed. I feel a little bit better about uh, running down the road with this thing loaded with the uh, with these hoses changed so uh, as an aside uh, when I was in the house having lunch I did look on the uh, on the internet and I did find a new uh, a new little uh, rubber connector uh, the kind of the uh, the piece there that goes on the the heater box and connects it to the cowl the fresh air I found one on the internet uh, new one yeah 50 bucks but uh, what the heck, I'm, I'm in this far. Might as well, if it's gonna work, might as well have it working good, so. At any rate, that's uh, about all I can do today. So I'm going to kind of button things back up here until I get some more parts. So until next time, have a good day.